having my pre-workout snack. I get this sausage for some protein. A couple of not really slices, they're not really blocks either, but these pieces of cheese. And a pumpkin muffin. Fall's coming. Get that pumpkin. I've always liked pumpkin. Pumpkin breads, pumpkin muffins. I don't like pumpkin pie, but I don't really like any pie. But anything, there's like a bread with pumpkin or a cookie. I, I love pumpkin. <clears throat> I destroyed my legs yesterday. So that means I get to hit chest today. Chest and shoulders. That's my biggest motivation to hit my leg day. Cause I know if I if I take a rest day and I put it off, I'm gonna have to do it anyway. And it's gonna delay getting to bench and hit chest. So of course we're benching on chest day. I put together my program ahead of time. So I already know there's a set weight that I'm benching every time I bench. And today that set weight is gonna be 280, going up by 30 pounds, hit 250 last time, 280 this time, next time you'll see 310, and then it'll be 340, and we'll be going for 370, uh, my previous PR was 365 on bench, so looking up to hopefully getting a, a PR by 5 pounds. Just a small jump. Keep my confidence up so I can hopefully hit it. There's really no reason I should fail it because it's basically the same weight with little tiny baby 2.5 on each side. I was gonna have pre-workout and you can do some Evogen, evogennutrition.com. Code Casey, I got this shirt on today. I have a pump cover, the Evogen shirt. This thing used to fit really oversized, but it's starting to hug now, hugging the arms and shoulders. It's either shrank a lot, or maybe I'm growing because I'm on the bulk. I haven't worn it in a while, so maybe I got bigger on the bulk. Probably a combination of both. But after bench, floor press to work on that lockout strength. Then after that, uh, some flies. I'll probably choose like, probably cable today. And I'll probably do like two sets flat, two sets incline. And then it'll be some machine press. And then for shoulders, probably no front raises. I feel like I don't need any front raises today. I never really need front raises. I don't really believe in hitting a lot of front delt, as I think I said in the last video. So I'll probably choose, of course, dumbbell side lateral raises. It's like a staple in every workout, basically. And then we'll choose one more that works a lot of side delt, and then two that are gonna be focused mainly on rear delt. And that'll be the workout. I don't know if I'll record everything. I was debating splitting up the videos so that even though I'm training chest and shoulders on one day, you'll get a chest video, and I'll split it up and make each workout two, two videos, two videos per workout, yeah. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet still, so I'm still just giving one video per workout. So you may or may not get every single exercise, so it just kinda seems like a lot. But I'll tell you what I'm doing. Take you through the workout go up to 280 on bench, probably do a heavy negative too. I think heavy negatives are very underutilized and help a ton. So I'm gonna finish this off, finish off this muffin I haven't gotten to yet, finish off my sausage and cheese, and then I'll head into the gym for a chest and shoulder workout. Sunburn is peeling. My skin looks terrible. It's like it made my, even like burned my hairline. 
Kind of like burnt some of my hairs away, it was so bad, but it's peeling. Warming up for my bench. Gonna start with the bar, work my way up to 280. Uh, the bands, I think I had the bands last couple times I hit chest, but I got the bands on the bench. See a lot of people bench with bands on there. I think it's supposed to make you so you don't slide on the bench, gives you better grip. So messing with that, we'll see how it works. I don't know if it works that much better or not, but might as well try it. If it can give me any type of improvements or any type of advantage over not having it on there, might as well. But yeah, going through my band warm up that I do in between every set, usually up till 225. And then once I hit 225, I usually rest in between. So that'll be only one set where I rest in between because I'm only going up to 280 today. Some light work. Gonna hit this for a heavy negative and then floor press is next. I'm not even gonna try and lift it, just on your rack and feel it. Time for floor press. Gonna start with a plate, then probably two plates, and then I'm probably gonna go for uh, two plates and two ten since I did two plates and one ten last time. See how many reps I can get with that. I was tempted to do 275, decided to stick to the plan, we'll, we'll go for 265 today. Two sets of flat dumbbell flies. Follow that up with two sets of cable incline flies so I get some mid chest, upper chest. Uh, last time I did four sets of incline dumbbell press, so I'm just kind of switching it up, get a nice full chest pump, full chest uh, development.
plate loaded machine next. Got a really nice pump going. Plate loaded machine, one plate, two plate, three plates. That's probably it. So I'm gonna get this plate loaded machine to finish off the chest pump. Next super set is single arm UV bar five lateral raises. Super setted with cable rear delt flies. Sweating a ton. Sweats in my eyes burning. I can't even see anymore. So with that easy bar, those were great. Something about that balance just kind of puts me in the right position to really isolate the side delt. And then of course the, uh, the rear cable flies are awesome because that stretch, that's how you stretch your shoulders, you come across your chest. Constant tension throughout that whole stretch and squeeze. So now I'm gonna do the dumbbell side laterals. Probably gonna superset that with uh, chest supported dumbbell rear flies. That's gonna finish it off. Out. pretty good pump could have been a little bit stronger on that floor press 265 floor press harder than I thought heavier than I thought but that's what we're working on that lockout for the bench press chest feels sore already feels really pumped shoulders feel really pumped too honestly my side delts were our side delts rear delts were a little bit sore still my last chest and shoulder workout. Didn't go too crazy, just three sets per shoulder exercise. They're already sore, no need to, you know, train them extra hard since they're still sore, let them recover. But I can't wait for uh, that bench PR attempt. 
hopefully I get it 370. The closer grip, because I moved my, my hands closer together, that form, it definitely feels different, feels weird. But I'm like pretty confident I can probably still hit that PR, so we'll see.